Hello and welcome to Real to Real. In a distinctly Catholic setting, the National Catholic Youth Conference invites participants to encounter Christ, experience church, and be empowered in their faith to lead others. On the weekend before Thanksgiving, the biannual event held in Indianapolis brought high school students from across the country together, hyping them up about one thing, their faith. Andre Kopacki traveled with our local delegation to this year's conference and tells us more. Despite its looks, this was not just any rainy day in Indianapolis. 25,000 participants showed up this year for the National Catholic Youth Conference, also known as NCYC, including 27 high school students from our very own Diocese of Springfield. Um, well, I came here two years ago and I loved it. It was my sophomore year. It's like my last chance now because I'm a senior and it's just like so much excitement and so, so much fun. Just the kind of people that are here, everybody's very accepting and welcoming and it's just a very overwhelming sensation and it's very good. The conference was structured around three days of talks by Catholic motivational speakers, Eucharistic adoration, and Mass. The young people are thirsting for the sacred because they live in this world, this secular vacuum of godlessness, and then they get a, a whiff of the holy and they want more, and so they're hungry. And so we've been here for three days and we haven't had a second to sit still at this booth because the kids keep coming and asking questions and saying, oh, thank you for your chastity talk. I finally want to start over and I want a new lifestyle. I don't want to do that stuff with my girlfriend anymore. I don't want to do that stuff on the internet anymore. They just need someone who believes in them to almost give them permission to take care of themselves and to be good because they want to be good, but they're so often tempted to go down the wrong direction. So by just giving them that encouragement, they're capable of becoming saints, and I think many of them will. Especially for youth, there's a lot of things that are being blown in their heads from a lot of different media, a lot of different channels, and a lot of people, I think that confuses them. Um, and I think it's really important for, for people like Jason to be that voice of truth for a lot of kids who don't really know where they stand in the world or what, what the right way um, that God wants us to see things is. But NCYC wasn't just about being serious and listening to lectures. Groups from around the country traded different hats and clothespins to make new friends and share their creativity. Clothespins, you just go up behind random people and then just pin them while they're walking, pin them at any time. Like you gotta do different things and you don't have to stay with your group the whole time. You just go around, see different talks, learn stuff, have fun, and just be amazing. The social component is definitely an important part of the NCYC experience, but mass and prayer are the real foundation. NCYC is an incredible gathering. It shows the young people that the church is alive, that they're not the future of the church, but they're the church today, and that they can be excited about their faith and enter into their faith, and that their faith can be a relevant part of their everyday life. Before NCYC, I, I felt alone. I felt like I was the only real like practicing Catholic in my school, and the only one to be really proud of my faith. I needed somewhere to feel where I, I belong. You know, where like I could talk to other people freely about my faith and I wouldn't be made fun I wouldn't be made fun of. And I have twenty four thousand of those people here right now and that just I want I wanted that. I wanted to be amazed by how many people just like me there were across the entire nation. For real to real, I'm Andre Kopaki. 
Looks like it was an inspiring, enriching, and really fun time for everyone. And Andre tells us that the 2019 NCYC will take place in Washington, D.C. For more information on the conference, we have a link at iobserve.org.